June 20th has been declared World Refugee Day in order to raise awareness about the plight of displaced people across the globe. But what does this day truly symbolize? And what's the reality for someone who's been forced to walk away from everything they've ever known? People become refugees for a myriad of reasons, from famine in South Sudan to the ongoing wars in Syria and Yemen, where carpet bombing and gas attacks have devastated the lives of millions, to those fleeing persecution like the Rohingya in Myanmar. In 2018, there are more displaced people than there have ever been before. More than 68 million people across the world have been forced to leave their homes and the lives they built there, then start all over again somewhere else. Artist Mohanad Orabi is one of them. With the start of the Syrian uprising and the conflict that followed, he soon found himself displaced from his native country. Not knowing exactly where he was going to find himself living, he began his journey in search of a new home. He joins me now from Dubai to talk about how that journey is reflected in his art. Thank you so much for being with us today, Mohanad. Now, Mohanad, do you remember the time where you said to yourself, this is it, I have to leave Syria? Uh, actually, uh, before I left uh, my country, I moved to, to Cairo, then uh, from Cairo I moved to Dubai. This it was, uh, I don't know what, how can I explain this experience for me, but uh, in general, to discover different cities with different situations, especially when I live in uh, not in very normal, uh, normal, uh, normal situation. Uh, so in general, all of that is uh, throw everything in, in my painting. And uh, there is kind of different, different kind of effect and influences. I, I start to recognize it in my painting, especially with this. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them is very important is the place that I move in it. Part of Cairo, I found it in my painting somehow. Uh, and now recently, after four, year, four or five, four, four year and a half here in Dubai, and also I found I can catch kind of the influence of the place and in general all my stories is coming from my background my stories my old background and mm -hmm. all my emotional things that already leave it all this story that I'm uh, keep in touch in it because you know, all, all of the people now they know uh, the situation is still uh, and this problem is still yes. in, in my country yes now and, speaking uh, about your paintings my, uh, speaking about your paintings yeah. can you give me one example of a painting uh, or artwork that depicts everything that you've been through and tell me about the story that's behind that. For each one there is a different story and uh, like an artist maybe there is something f very simple they make like a turning point for me. Uh, uh, Different story. All my paintings are talking about story. And all uh, all the Syrian now they have a thousand of story talking. Give about me an it. example of one. In my painting, one I specific I one. Example. Example. One. Yeah, I start in one of these uh, painting. I remember there is a kids in and uh, in, I, I I I have been in Beirut for for a while. There is in Shar al Hamra Street. There is like a small a small little boy, is very handsome boy. They is trying to sell uh, roses. And uh, all the time, he's selling roses for the, the cobbles for the people, and very good smile all the time. His hair is, is clean, his clothes is clean. And when I turn back to, to Dubai, I heard by, by, by in, the, in the Facebook and all the media, this, uh, we're missing this, uh, this, uh, this boy. So suddenly, uh, I capture this, this image for this boy still in my mind. And I saw, I saw myself drawing this uh, boy hang, hang, handing uh, all these kind of roses and trying to, to throw the roses for the older people. So it's one of my uh, paintings, still remember it. Mm -hmm. Now, do you hope that one day you'll go back to Syria, your homeland, and evolve there as an artist, continue to evolve there as an artist? Of course, of course, it's my dream. To return back, I still have my house there. I, I hope to go there with my daughter to see my to to see my my neighborhood, my uh, my parents, and start to to build a new build a new new 
new thing there. When uh, everything became okay, for sure, I will come back to my country. Well, Mohanad, I really hope uh, and wish the best for you and your family. But that's all the time we have left. Thank you so much for coming on Showcase today. Thank you. Thank you very much.